Hi, I am uh, Roberto Sandino with ST Microelectronics, and this video is about an application that is called Blue Voice, which concerns voice over Bluetooth Low Energy Wireless Link. Low Energy is a key building block of uh, wearable and Internet of Things application and is becoming a sort of a platform on top of which several applications has, are built. These applications are described as profiled uh, by the Bluetooth Low Energy standard and none of these profiles as of today covers uh, voice or audio. So we have decided to go on and develop our own Blue Voice application which is uh, built uh, upon this uh, uh, set of boards, uh, boards belonging uh, to the STM32 open development environment by ST Microelectronics uh, which offer a wide range of uh, sensors, uh, processors uh, and uh, wireless communication uh, boards uh, that can be combined as building blocks uh, in order to build uh, uh, various applications. In this particular case we are using these three boards uh, which you see here on the table, the Bluetooth Low Energy Expansion Board, an STM32 Nucleo Board and of course uh, being an audio application a Digital MEMS Microphone Expansion Board. The three boards can be combined uh, through <coughs> the expansions that are built in, in particular the MEMS microphone board can be plugged into the STM32 Nucleo board via the so-called Morpho application in order to implement uh, a basic digital microphone that is a stereo microphone using two of these microphones. Let's now look at the actual Blue Voice uh, system which we implement using these two units, the receiving unit and the transmission unit. The two systems are built with the same set of nuclear expansion boards and in particular in the receiving unit the audio expansion will be used to stream the decompressed audio into a recording unit like a PC in this case. So we power the system via USB, both systems, and we turn on and off transmission by pressing the blue button that's on the nuclear board. So when I press the blue button the systems that are already connected start the actual streaming operation by sending notification from server to client according to the Bluetooth Low Energy Standard. And by pressing again the blue button, I can stop the streaming uh, operation while the system keeps the connection open. Okay, so let's turn on uh, the actual wireless microphone and when I speak into the microphone you will see my voice received and uh, decompressed and displayed on the monitor of the PC as you can see now through the Audacity facility. Speech recognition is a very important functionality for wearable and Internet of Things system and now we show how <coughs> the voice processing that is performed within the Blue Voice application doesn't alter the quality of audio and makes it uh, <coughs> suitable for uh, uh, voice commands for example. We're going to talk into the Google API, uh, APIs for vocal search. Let's turn on the system. <coughs> Take me to Milan Expo 2015. As you can see, the audio has been perfectly recognized by the Google uh, Vocal Search APIs. So you have seen uh, the Blue Voice application deployed with the STM32 Nucleo and uh, Open Development Environment from ST Microelectronics, uh, which allows you to develop uh, a number of different applications, all based on uh, ST Microelectronics uh, components. In particular, with the Blue Voice application, we could stream voice over a Bluetooth Low Energy link, uh, exploiting the very good throughput of our Blue Energy component. <coughs> with this, I thank you for your attention, and for uh, any further information, you may refer to www.st.com.